हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ डीबीएमएस प्रैक्टिकल लेक्चर सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सेट ऑपरेशंस एंड हाउ वी कैन अप्लाई देम ओवर द डिफरेंट डेटाबेसेस बाय डेटाबेसेस वी मींस वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई दीज ऑपरेशंस विद टेबल्स ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सेट ऑपरेशंस आर यूनियन यूनियन ऑल इंटरसेक्ट एंड माइनस एंड लाइक सेट्स यू कैन परफॉर्म दीज ऑपरेशंस विद tables as well okay but the but there are some conditions means you cannot apply these operations with any set with any set means the set must be of same pattern of same type only then you can perform the union similarly we have certain conditions that must be met before applying these operations with the tables okay so you must know about these conditions so the conditions are number of columns participating in the query should be same means you are performing union intersect minus over two tables okay these are like uh, binary operations so table 1 is union with table 2 okay or table 1 is intersect with table 2 so you must have similar types of table by similar type of tables we means you are you may not be applying the condition with all the tables okay but uh you must be choosing some uh, some uh, columns from table 1 you must be choosing some columns from table 2 and those column must be same in number and must be same in order and must be same in the data types okay suppose from table 1 i am choosing first column as of type number and the second of type character then from table 2 also you must choose first column as number and second column as character okay so this these are the condition means you can perform these operation with similar types of selections only by selection we means you may take complete tables from tab uh, table as table 1 or complete table as table 2 then the tables must have same number same type of columns okay and same order of column as well right so the, the these points will be clear when we start the practical so here the first operation is union let's see the condition for this it will combine the distinct record from two tables means if you are having uh, same record in any of the uh, table then those those same records will not be selected okay or we can say that uh those records will be selected only once because it is combining the distinct record from two tables okay so th this record will not appear two times this record will appear only one time okay this is the table 1 and this is your table 2 so all the records of table distinct record of table 1 all records of dis uh, distinct record of table 2 and the common records will appear only one time okay now the query or the syntax for the union operation is selection of the first table means the query that you are writing to select the columns from the first table union <coughs> and the selection from the second table okay so you may be using complete table as table 1 select start from table 1 union select start from table 2 okay or you may be performing select name from table 1 and union with select name from table 2 so you can use it in any way but number of columns types of column order of column from first table and the second table must be same as we have already discussed now the next operation is union all that will combine all the records from two tables all records from two tables so all the records from table 1 all the records from table 2 must appear in the result including the common records appearing two times okay so uh, you must be clear about the difference between union and union all in union operation the records will common records will appear only one time but with union all all the common records will appear two times that we will see in the practical also now the syntax for this is same as the union selection of the first table and from the second table and the operation this time is union all remember that if you want to perform it with more than one table then you just need to write it one more time union all and next we have the table number 3 okay 
so you can uh, apply these operation over any number of selections but at a time it will work with two selection means like binary operation it is having only two operand this is your first input and this is your second input if you are taking third input then you have one more operator okay like binary operator plus minus so this is uh, the inputs are same like binary operations now next is intersect it will select the common records from two tables only so this is table 1 and this is table 2 only the distinct records will appear only the common records will appear in the result and for only one time not two times okay so so, so so the common records will be the output of intersect operation and the syntax is this just you need to change the operator selection from first table or the complete first table or the complete second table and this time the operator is, in, is intersect now the last operation is minus so it will select as the name depicts it will select the record that don't exist in another table okay so if you are performing the minus operation with table 1 and table 2 by table 1 means the first selection of the columns and the second selection of the columns so it will result into the records of the distinct record of table 1 only okay common records and the records of table 2 will not appear in the result so you will get only the distinct record of table 1 and the syntax for this is selection of the first table selection of second table and minus now here the order matters means uh, in which order you are writing table 1 and table 2 that matters a lot so here we are getting the distinct record of table 1 only and if you write the query like this the second table appears first in the query and then we have the first table then you will get the record distinct record of table 2 okay so for unlike union union all and intersect here the order of the selection doesn't matter but with minus operation the order of the selection means order of the queries uh, how the tables appear in the query matters a lot so accordingly you, the results will change okay so uh, let's start the practical after this uh, i think you are clear with the concept of these set operation so let's start the practical here i have uh, used two command prompt just to make the result more clearer to you because for one uh, we can take the tables displayed and for from the second screen we may run the commands like union union all intersect and minus just to compare the result i am using two windows over here you may try it with one window only so let's have i have simply changed the color of one window just for the more clear view of the result so now these are the tables that we, i am going to use section 1 and section 2 with only two columns name and city and for second section as well i am having the name and city so you can see i am having the same columns means name and city in first table name and city in the second table right so here why i am using the same column because this is the condition for the set operations secondly i can apply the union intersect and other set operations directly over the complete table okay if you have like address or phone number in section 1 then you must choose these two columns for the query only because these two columns are the only column that are having the same domain as the section 2 or the table 2 columns right so let's start one uh, one more thing if you are creating the table in your database then you may not uh, means you may not find the record next time you open the command line prompt okay so for every changes means if you are entering even only one record in the table you must end it with the commit we have already covered these operations in the commit roll back and other uh, say points like um, commands in previous video so for every changes you must commit otherwise changes will may, changes may not reflect next time means next time you open the window uh, window and uh, there may be no rows in the table okay so you need to commit every change right so let's start here these are the two 
tables that I am going to take as the input. So let's start by performing the union operation. For this, I am writing the command here. Select star from table one is section one. Okay, enter. You may write the command in one line only, but just to clear the things, we must write the commands or queries in multiple lines. Uh, just to make means just to divide the queries into multiple section as the sections are already there in the query so that next time you try to read the query the query must be clear to you next we have select start from section 2 now this is our union operation as both tables are having same number of columns with same data type so you can perform the table over uh, the union operation with complete table otherwise you need to make the selections so here is the result of our selection query here we got these four records okay you can see we got uh, as these two tables has four record as uh, first table has four records and second table has two records but as you can see both the records of section 2 are common with section 1 okay so name triple a also appear with yamnanagar city in section 1 similarly name triple a appears with the same city yanr in section 2 similarly triple e is the record of the table 1 with city pnb similarly here is the record of triple e with the city pnb so these two records we can say that are common in section 1 as well so all the re common records are appearing only one time with the union operation right so i think there is no doubt so let's try it with so let's try to change one record of section 2 so that we can see whether the common records are uh, means other records of section 2 are included in the query result or not okay so let's change one record so for that i am changing the update operation with section 2 update I am just providing a, a new means new city where name equals to okay for a for string input you must use single quote missing set sorry I just needed to use set set here the command is update section 2 section 2 is the table name update section 2 set city equals to new where name is this okay now one row is updated let's see the records of table 2 by records we mean the rows because one complete row is one record so here the city is updated to new okay but select star from let's check the records of section 1 so these are our new tables section 2 is having new city means new as the city for triple e name now let's try to check whether the records are updated in the second window or not so here I am going to just make the selection select star from section 2 okay so here you are still getting the old record means city is not changed here but we have already run the command for the uh, update of the city to new from PNB but here the you are getting the older city name because the command we have not committed the command so changes are not reflected and I am sure when next time you open the command window you will get you will get the city as PNB only because the changes are not committed so to reflect the changes you must commit so after running the commit command when the commit is complete the city will be updated 
for the final result so here the now the section 2 is having the new city for triple e name right so here just display the tables so here are the new tables so let's run the union command one more time and let's see the results section 1 union section 2 done ok so in this time the uh, records these four records and this new record because we have changed the city so this is not the common record means this is now the distinct record from the section 2 table so this must appear in the result so here we got the five result five records as the resultant records this triple e is now part of the result because the record is not common with the first table okay this time this uh, record is changed to city is changed to new ok so we have only one common record within these two tables as triple a name with the city YNR so let's try using the union all so this is the result of union operation now we are going to use the next operation that is union all and union all must give all the records means or including the common records will appear two times means it it's going to give you six record as the result two from this table and four from the this table and uh, you must know for union union all intersect the order of the tables means the uh, if you are using table one as second table and table second as first table the order doesn't matter so here you are getting the six record as the result two from the table one and uh, sorry four from table one and two from the table two so let's try using the intersect operation for intersect all the common records must appear so let's change the order this time so i am using section two as the first query now intersect with section 1 ok so for these operations as we know order doesn't matter so we are getting the common record as triple a yr so only one row is column for these two tables that is the result of your intersect operation so now it's turn for the minus operation and for minus operation suppose i am using section 1 as the section 1 as the first table now write simply write minus and I am using section 2 as the second table ok so what result uh, what uh, re records we must get as a result of this the distinct record of section 1 and distinct re records are uh, triple D S and E these three record must appear as a result so let's check so results are the distinct record of table 1 these last three rows right now let's change the order for this command ok section 2 will appear first and then we have the section 1 ok and we are getting the distinct record of section 1 as triple e new ok but earlier when we were having section 1 as the first selection means first table then we were getting distinct record of table 1 table 1 but this time we are getting distinct record of table 2 as a result ok so that's it for this video hope you learned something in next video we will have more practical sessions of dbms queries till then bye and take care